Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hello viewers. Welcome once again to my channel. My name is Muhammad Atik Anwar and you are watching my channel Muhammad Atik Anwar an education for us all. So welcome once again and today we're off on another drive. Today our destination is Elland which is uh, quite a distance about three miles so let's see how long it takes us. So we are at my at our familiar starting point which is uh, the Halifax railway station. So let's make a start. I guess I hope you can recognize this place. We've been here often enough. So today's request has been made by uh, a lady, well, if I said Alex you wouldn't know it's a lady, but she is uh, a lady. Sorry about that, Alex. So Alexandra, if that's what you'd rather be called, Alex Long. And she lives in Stoke. And she's written in to say that her uh, grandma used to work at what's known as the Gannix factory, which as I say is in Elland, and used to make uh, really, really expensive uh, raincoats. So for those of you with a knowledge of the 1960s, we had a Prime Minister called uh, Harold Wilson, and he gladly modelled uh, the uh, raincoats for the manufacturer who was called Lord Kagan. Okay, so again, a uh, very interesting uh, character, but eventually he got caught out by the taxman and uh, was not that much uh, in favor, let's say. Okay, so you can read up the history, I'm sure. So we're up, um, just um, on South Parade now, heading towards uh, Huddersfield Road. And there are two, well, obviously there are many ways, but uh, two main ones. One uh, where we go off the carriageway towards uh, Greetland, and the other one is further on, and that uh, goes straight into Elland. Uh, it's what I call the Elland Bridge. Uh, way and that is uh, the way that I will be going and hopefully coming back uh, will be different and will show you the sights of uh, Elland okay, again a lovely little village obviously these places are not as busy as they used to be many of them now what, I, what uh, would be termed as uh, commuter places where people you know live there and uh, work and travel to other areas for their leisure and shopping okay so we are stopping on Huddersfield Road as you can see to the left of us is uh, the special school I've forgotten what, what it's called. Ravencliffe, I think. Okay, so. And the whole area, of course, is Spring Hall um, Leisure Complex, I think. So we are now on uh, Huddersfield Road. Approaching the hospital So we will be going past the hospital down Salter Hebel and then as I say we'll be doing a, a left To the right of us is the hospital. I think 
Axel de Hebel starts from here. Rather busy again. <coughs> so we are on Salter Hebel now, the viewers. Been here a few times, and you will recall that this is the A629 going to Huddersfield. And ahead of us, there's a lot of uh, digging going on, expanding the road. It's, the flow seems to be okay. Just to the left here, there used to be a drinking place that was very popular called Punch Bowl. To the right of us, there is a sewage works. To the left of us, behind all this uh, shrubbery, is the uh, railway line. And this side goes to uh, Manchester. So as I said, there are two ways we could have uh, taken. One would be to do a, a, a right here and as these people are doing on the right and the other is as we, we're doing carrying on a little bit further. I will come back uh, that way in uh, either this video or uh, uh, next video part two as I uh, may call it. So as you can see quite a bit of construction work going on so we are going to do about another 500 meters and then come off and that actually takes us into Elland so say so to the left is a, a, a railway line and then above that, the village of uh, Siddal, I think, and uh, South Arum. To the right, there's a, ro a road, and that is part of Greetland. a little bit further for the exit so as you can see this is also the exit for Brig House uh, a large a rather larger area than Elland mainly I think because it's next to the motorway so the M62 is on uh, this side as well I think it's uh, junction uh, uh, 25 or 24 okay so if I was to go straight as you know it would be Huddersfield but we are coming off here and this is Elland
So this road is called Park Road and further on I think is called uh, Bradford Road and Brighouse Road. So we're going to bear left. Okay, so we are in now uh, Elland and as you can see, lovely period buildings uh, all around us to the left. The other thing that we are going to go over is what's known as the Elland Bridge. Very, very famous. So we're now going over it and of course underneath is the River Calder. So I think this road is called Canal Road, I'm not sure. Okay, so the sign for Elland is there. So it's called Ellen Bridge Road. <laughs> okay, as you can see, there's various uh, drinking places and functional places from previous uh, buildings that were council property. So we're in the heart of Ellen now. civic buildings and of course many uh, new building as well it's not a place I am familiar with I think what I'll do is I'll turn right from here yes I think we can reach it from here Admiring the Victorian uh, architecture as always. So, um, Alex, unfortunately, the uh, mills have been demolished and have been replaced by, I would say, uh, rather nice uh, apartments. Okay, and it now forms part of this industrial estate. I think they've called it Heathfield. Okay, so we are there. What you see ahead of you is all the area that the Gannex factory used to be on. So I am going to find a parking spot and do a little bit of filming for you, Alex. And uh, in t show you all the uh, uh, area that the mill covered. So there used to be a number of mills to the right as well. Rather busy. <laughs> Okay, so we need to find a parking spot and this will do nicely. So Alex, as you can see, this is one of the entrances and the mill used to be located uh, on all of these grounds. So as you can see, there's, uh, I think there's nearly uh, over a hundred, I know, uh, fl uh, luxury flats that have been built here. They really are very, very nice and sought after flats. So what I'll do is first of all, walk across and show you where this road leads to. So that is the journey that we made. That is the town of Elland, and if we were to go further this way, that takes us into uh, Brig House. And of course, at the top is uh, the motorway. 
you see the, the lorry that went across there, that's uh, one of the slip roads that come off uh, the motorway. Okay. There's traffic flowing there over that bridge. That is, uh, uh, sorry, the only top traffic and then of course that leads to junction 24 and further on is the other junction. Okay, I'll show you once more the journey that we've made and I shall go across and show you from there, uh, Alex. I'm a little bit further up uh, the road now, viewers, and as you can see, the flats extend right up to there and there's another block over there. On this side, as I said, there used to be a number of mills, but now it forms uh, this uh, industrial estate yeah, on which there are uh, a number of uh, specialist manufacturers and also uh, quite a number of uh, service industry. Okay, so just done a 360 degree and what we'll do is we'll go further up. So these grounds uh, were also part of the uh, Ganex mills. I think there were, uh, no, sorry, there was a, a, car, a large car park there. But the uh, flats carry on right to the end. So it is a private area and obviously will not like me filming. Oops, nearly fell over then. Okay, show you once more these magnificent flats. Okay, so I'll just go to the end there and we'll end this uh, part of the video there. So I've come right to the end of the uh, complex viewers and I especially wanted to show you this because uh, this is the only part that remains uh, of the Ganex mills. So as you can see it extends uh, right up to there and I do believe it employed uh, nearly 2,000 people in its heyday and Alex you tell me that your grandma used to be a, a, a machinist here okay so uh, as you can see there that is a grand council building in Elland. Okay viewers, I'm going to conclude this video here. Let the traffic go by. I do hope uh, you've enjoyed uh, uh, our little journey and Alex, I hope it's uh, brought uh, pleasant memories for you. So I say to the viewers, uh, look after yourselves, look after others, until the next time, goodbye. Let the traffic go, go by, uh, a cargo bus again. So, practice by Urdu, up na khayal rakna. Dusro ka khayal rakna. Dwao me yaad rakna. Main aap ke liye dwa. Karta rahunga. Phir milenge. Allah Hafiz. Goodbye viewers.